Good morning, Internet. This is Alex da Sudokus, and it is Friday, the 27th of November 2020. And we have another New York Times and LA Times Sudoku for us today. We are going to start with today's New York Times first. So let us dive right in. Oh, I feel a bit disgusting today, but. Not great for a second day of webcam. Um, okay, so we have a pair of ones over here, which locks a pair of ones there. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, we've got another pair of ones there because of this one and that one. And I think that's all the ones that we can pencil mark in for now. So let's do the twos. These twos and that two stacks a pair of twos over there. And do 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 do. Oh. We have another pair of twos there. I missed that two over there for some reason. Um, let's see. Don't think I can do anything else with the twos. So the threes are not friendly because we've only got two of them and they are not doing anything for us. A pair of fours available at the bottom, thanks to these fours. And oh, we actually have a four unlocked up here because of this four, that four and that four, so that also unlocks a two for us. And this two unlocking means I have a pair of twos over here. And let's see, I also have a four unlocked here whilst I'm staying on the fours. So another four has revealed itself because of the two columns being taken and this row being taken. So yet another four reveals itself and we've just done all the fours. So that's a good start to today's puzzle. So let's move on to fives. I have a pair of fives over here and a pair of sixes. I think that's all I can do with the five. So that's why I'm moving on. Sixes, do we have any more sixes? Looks like we haven't. Oh no, yes, I do have another pair. Of, no, hold on. I misread where the six was, so that was a mistake. Um, I'm curious if there's a triple here with this six, one, four, two, no. No triple there. Um, okay, what about sevens? Sevens, I have a pair of sevens over here because it is seven and that's seven. And that unlocks a pair of sevens over there as well. So sevens are done. No, they're not. I also have a points pair of sevens there. So that actually unlocks a seven for us. And now I think I'm done with the sevens. So what about eights? I have an eight here because of these two eights. So anything else? Got a pair of eights there because of this eight and that eight. I think that's all I can do with the eights. So what about nines? Uh, yep, a pair of nines there thanks to this solo nine. And that looks like that's all I can do. So why don't I blow my nose quickly? And now let's move on. Okay, so let's look at the weak areas on the puzzle where we have um, three or maybe even four numbers or less. So we have three numbers missing on this column and they are three, nine, three, five, and nine. Three, five, and nine. And I can't see a single one of them. Well, I guess I can see a nine there, but I can't see threes and fives. So I think it's safe to say I can't do anything with that. Have I got any quadruples where I have four numbers remaining on a row or a column? I'm not fuzzy. Uh, no, I can't see that. So I think we need to examine the puzzle a little bit more. So there are more stories to be told with this puzzle. And let's see. Surprisingly, I haven't got anything there, so... Oh, I need to sneeze.
It's a terrible feeling, isn't it? When you want to sneak, but you can't. Uh, anyway, this 8 has actually unlocked a pointer pair of 7s there, I noticed, because this is an interesting shape with a kind of L-shaped situation where there's basically a single row and a single column. So that's always worth checking out. So now I've got 7s locked in the same two columns, in columns 1 and 3. And I definitely need to put... Okay, so with the sevens locked in columns ones and three in these two cages, I have to have the seven locked in the column two in this cage. Um, it's not super useful, admittedly. Um, I do have another pair of twos here as well because of this too, because I was now looking at this kind of C-shaped situation. This roll could be quite powerful, and sure enough, the two twos are tucked in there. So now I have a triple locked in this row which is one five and nine again I think uh, I've got five over there and over here so with the fives not being able to go in those two columns the five has to go here so that leaves me ones and nines and I can't resolve them just yet I don't think uh, but I can lock a pair of nines here now because this is now a kind of pointer column and I noticed these are also ones, so ones and nines are tucked in these two cells as well. So there's some sort of like one nine relationship going on here. So this one nine matching pair means no other numbers can go in them. So I have another matching pairs here, which are threes, three and six. So let's pencil mark those in, and that denotes that I have a seven five pair here. And this 7-5 pair means I have a 1-3-6 triple in these three cells. But I've got 3 and 6 here already, so I've just unlocked another 1 for us. And that 1 allows me to pencil mark in those 1s as well, because of these two ones and that 1 over there. So this is now 3 and 6, but I can't deduce which one is which. Um, now, can we do more? I still can't resolve this 3, 5, 9 triple, so I don't think I'm quite there yet. So let's move on. Um, I still can't disseminate the 1 and 9 here. So is something going on here? 7, 8, 9 and 6. So 6 is another number that's being a bit tricky at the moment. Um, But I can't see where they go, so I'm just going to wrap myself up a little bit warmer because it's awfully cold this morning. Whew. Winter's definitely here. So anyway, in this cage, since I've put the two seven in, I do have a triple on this in this cage, and that forces another triple here. So what are they? Um, it's probably one six and three on the oops, one six and three on the outside. Um, so this can't be 1 or 6, it has to be, a, sorry, it can't be 6 or 3, it has to be a 1, because 1, 6 and 3 are in this cage, and they have to they have to go in these 3 cells, basically, because I've got 2, 4 and 7 on the same row. So even without pencil marking in the triple, I can actually deduce this 1 here. So imagine if I had no pencil markings, if I'm doing a no pencil markings, um, hard Sudoku I may still be able to resolve that with that logic um, but for now to keep it simple let's pencil mark these in so these are 5, 9 and 8 5, 8 and 9 so that denotes that these are 1, 6 and 3 and I've got 3 and 6 looking to that cell so I've deduced the 1 so that resolves the 1 over here as well and also resolves this one here and I think that's all the ones I can do for now. So now these are 6 and 3s as well, which means these are also a pair, and they are 9s and 9s and 2s. So 9 has to go here because it is 9, and 2 has to go here. So that just unlocked another 2 for us as well. And I think that's all I can do for now for those. But also, now that I've done that 1, this 9 can be resolved, so I can place the 9 there. 
and that 9 creates a pointer pair of 9s over there, which means that can't be a 9. It also creates a 7-9 seven, seven, matching pair, so I've just pushed out the 8, and that leaves me a 6 over there, and that forces a pointer pair of 6 here, because I've got pointer pair of 6s, well, I mean these are 1s and 9 anyway, so this 6 locks a pointer pair of 6s, so 3 and 6 are resolved, and now 3 has to go here, and these are 6s and 7s, and I've now got 7s locked in rows 4 and 6 in two different cages, so basically that's the next wing, and that eliminates that 7, so I can place a 9 now, and this 9 resolves the 1 and the 9, so I must have a pair of 9s in these two cells. Uh, anything over here? Um, the 3 and 5 still aren't available. I do have a single number here, which is a 3, so that does resolve the 5 and the 3 in this column, and it leaves me with an 8. And these are now 6s and 5 and 6, so I can't resolve these just yet. But what is potentially interesting... Oh no, I thought there was something interesting going on. <coughs> but rather than pencil marking them in, I want to look at this column. I've got 5 here, so that could never have been 7 and 5. So that 5 doesn't do anything for us at all, actually. So that's quite disappointing. <coughs> so this triple is 1, 7 and 6, and I've got 1 and 6 there. So this must be a 7, providing the 1, 7 and 6 are correct, and they are. So with that 7, I've just deduced the 6 and the 7. And this 6 forces a pair of, oops, a pair of 6s here. Uh, oh, actually, I was trying to do it with no more additional pencil markings, so why don't I place the 1? I'm going to, I'm in elimination mode now. I'm only going to eliminate pencil markings. Um, this is 3 and 6. Can't do anything with it. What about these? These are 7, 5, 5, 6 and 7. Um, nope, can't resolve that. What about the 5, 8 and 9 on this column? I've got 9 there and a 9 there. So 9 can only go in this cell. So that leaves me 5s and 8s, and I've got 5 there, so 8 is here, 5 is there, and that 5 unlocks the 5, and, oh no, not 8, uh, I noticed just as I placed the 8, that um, there was an 8 already. So this 6 dissolved the 6 and 3, so I've got 6s over there, but this must be in 3 now on this row, so this 3 locks a 3 over there. And I'm left with two. What are these? These are twos and eights. Can't resolve them. These are sevens and sixes. Also can't be resolved. Oh, actually I can because this is the only cell left in this cage that can take a six. So six and seven are resolved. Seven and two, two and eight, eight and five, five and nine. And that's today's New York Times hard Sudoku. So let us move to the expert LA Times. Okay, first of all, housekeeping. Get rid of the highlighted cells and let's try and do this as quickly as possible. So ones are over there. I'm going to move on to threes now because I can't actually. Can I see a pair of twos? Yes, I can. Twos are locked in these cells as well, but threes are quite in abundance. So that's why I wanted to jump straight to the threes, but actually they're not abundant enough to help me solve the puzzle just yet. You can see some fours. What about fives? Five, five, only got a pair. Sixes are there. <coughs> Six, seven. Um, Oh, sevens are locked in these two cells, and these two cells. What about eights? Got to have eights here, and hold on, no, I thought that I thought these seven, six um, locked a pair of eights there because I didn't see 
a gap. Um, so these are nines. Anything else on the nines? I feel like nines are useful, but maybe not that useful. Oh, actually, this nine and that nine locks a pair of nines there as well. So we just unlocked ourselves a nine over there. And I think nine, nine. I think that's all I can do with the nines. So not super successful so far, but I can resolve a four here. Um, and this four locks a pair of fours there. Oh, and also unlocks a four over there. So what's going on here? Here I've got fives, six. Hi, Elaine. Oh, just in time. Just in time for my sneeze. I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Did you have um, Thanksgiving yesterday? Because um, I just realised um, I learned from Discord that it's Thanksgiving yesterday. So this seven resolves the seven and six. Eight. Uh, these are fives, eight. So these are fives and eight because that five and that leaves me a two here. <laughs> so, does a two do anything for us? No, it doesn't. I barely did anything. Oh, did you not go home? I wasn't sure if um, what the situation is with um, traveling, so... Um, so did you spend it on your own? Uh, two, five, and six. So five and six are there, so this is a two. This can't be a five, so it must be a six and a five and a six. So that's a little bit of resolution for us. These are five, so that's a four, five pair, leaving a nine. Oh, you did, hold on, you did go home or you did spend, you did go home or you did spend it on your own? Sorry. <laughs> that's the trouble with the, the delay. Can't quite tell which, uh, it was nice to have a day of rest. That's good. So did you enjoy it at the very least? Oh, I've messed up. These aren't fours and fives. Um, there is a six, but these are fours and sevens. And seven has to go there and four goes there. I did. That's good. <laughs> it's good to laze about. I definitely have those days, which is unfortunately most of the week. So today I want to do some coding and um, yeah I need to I've kind of been putting off coding for a long time because um, I don't know about you but I um, I got converted to the Mac OS some time ago um, by my friend who's a developer because I used to kind of like be a bit snobbish about Mac OS I just assume that, well, you don't even have a right mouse button, therefore Max must be shit. Um, but as it turns out, the Mac OS is actually quite amazing. And um, and I fell in love with it as a um, developing platform, developer's platform, um, at least for the laptop anyway. I don't know about the, the iMacs, um, but I just love the trackpad. Linux is best, and Mac OS is built upon Linux, but... I think um, it's kind of like built with all the bells and whistles to start with. It may not have the customizations you can get with um, with um, Linux, but um, it kind of like it's already refined with um, you know they do their usability tests to get kind of the best kind of UX and UI f for you. So it may not be best for every single thing. But, um, like, generally speaking, for the average person, it just seems to be um, quite quite good and fast for me anyway. Um, so I switched to a Mac um, for developing a long time ago. And then, um, and the reason I never tap into Linux is, like, I don't want to worry about hardware. I don't want to worry about drivers. And, um, and also just kind of, like, yeah, getting it set up. Because I... One thing you have to give 
Apple a lot of times it's like the hardware is just ridiculously good I've used a lot of touchpads in my life um, I've tested a lot of them and the only one that I like now that I've gotten used to the Mac trackpad everything else just seems inferior the trackpad is just so so great just like um the I feel I'm like advertising for for Max I'm not because I'm not an Apple fan precisely but um but I have to con contact you know I have to confess that they do make um, really good hardware and um so anyway the point of the story is that um, I switched to Mac OS and got myself a, a MacBook Pro um a long time ago and then um and then upgraded a couple of years ago when I wanted to do more development basically and um kind of wanted to have it portable and then I can go to you know do the whole coffee shop thing, sit in a coffee shop and do programming. Um um and, f and I basically gave my old one to a friend so I can't even I can't even like switch back to my old MacBook Pro which is still completely functional um but my friend uses it every day so she's really getting getting its worth and um so I'm not exactly going to ask for it back so but yeah the new one unfortunately um it seems to be uh, an issue with the Intel CPU there's just something wrong with the cooling basically so I've been eyeballing the latest um, line of MacBook Pros, oh sorry, the latest line of MacBooks that they release with the M1 chip, and um, and they basically don't have the thermal issues. And I've just been like really wanting to get the new, get the new, you know, take some money off my savings to buy them because um, it's literally just the thermals that's causing me problem with the MacBook, and it's actually physically put me off um, using them for programming. Um, I've got it all set up, like the way I like it for development. I can lock onto my server very easily, and um, got the shortcuts and sorry aliases and you know other SSH keys and stuff like that set up. So um, and Windows just not great for web development. I have to say because it's a pain in the ass to set up, and um, it's just not as good. And um, and I still can't switch between desktops. Seeing you do a classic Sudoku is a painkiller for my brain. I hope that's the kind of... Is that as opposed to a headache-inducing um, sadistic demonstration when I do the miracle Sudokus ye yesterday? Or was it the day before? I can't remember now. Oh my god, I did another sandwich Sudokus last night. And um, it took another 40 odd minutes, but at least I managed to do it on my own this time. It felt easier, but I think um, I think it was kind of um, yeah. I think I'm getting the hang of the like what I should be looking out for. But anyway, let's uh, finish this um, after my little rant about my MacBook. But yeah, the fact that I don't enjoy programming on my Windows machine, um, I, I've had to do it a little bit, and it's just a pain. It's just it's just nowhere near as good. At least like now I'm using. Um, like a JS framework, so um, I don't have to like install things like WAMP for PHP development. So, and Windows 10, admittedly, has a has a separate shell that allows me to install um, what is it called? N NPM. So I guess that's the Node package manager. Yeah. So Node.js package manager. Does Mac OS have Vim? I think so. Yeah. There's no reason why the Mac OS OS Vim. Oh, it looks like you have to get one yourself. I would be surprised if, if you can't just use Vim by default because Oh, you do have to install it, so I guess it's not um out the box. Um hang on, let me let me have a look. No, remind me later. Yeah, it's got Vim. I never installed it, so, and Vim, yeah, Vim comes out of the box. So, let's see, what have we got here? 
Um, this is a triple of two, two, eight, and one. So can't resolve that yet. Those are eights. Um, I really need to learn Vim. So where did you learn to use Vim? Because um, I think I just need to do some sort of an online course to get a hang of it. Oh, I've got one and eight looking into that cell, so that must be a nine. So that means that's also a nine, that's a nine, that's a two. This is not a nine anymore, so two is over here. So the twos are done, and all the nines are done as well. So these are ones and eight, ones and, ones and eight. So that means that can't be an eight anymore. So undo the pencil marking, eight and five. So that's a five. And that means that's a five. So what are these? These are fives and fours. So four goes there, four, three. And I guess this is an eight. And the three unlocks the one and three, which means one and eight are there. And so eight and one are there. One and eight are here. So that's today's LA Times expert Sudoku. I was a pair program of people who insist on using Vim. Uh, so you don't have a choice. You have to learn it. Um, I, I use things like, um, I've been a Sublime Text user for the longest time. I try switching to Atom, but Atom is just not as lightweight. But one thing I will say with Atom is um, once you load it, um, it is very fast. It can handle like massive files really quickly. Whereas if I have to deal with a massive file with um, Sublime Text, that is not so good. I think also like, yeah, I need... I don't know about, I don't know what you can do with Vim with um I don't know if it has like syntax highlighting and it must have syntax highlighting that would be silly not to have but um but it's like the classic tools like seeing your git um kind of um changes um it's nice to have a text editor that I mean sublime text doesn't do that out of the out of the box but um I've installed the plugins for it so I can I can see I can highlight different syntaxes I can see the git um, changes and I do git slow within sublime text as well so it's been quite it's been quite helpful um but yeah I do need to learn to use vim because um using nano on a server what well, it's just a nightmare because sometimes I have to like you know I do the config files on the I have to I use the terminal to do config files um so yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to use Nano to do that, but it's the one that I recognise. It's slow, but it does the job. So, uh, let's do today's mini crosswords on New York Times. But before I do, let's um, do my outro for my YouTube crowd. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want to see me do, like, um, the mini crosswords and stuff like that, I do them on, um, what you call it? I do it on Twitch. So... I do do live Sudokus on Twitch before uploading them onto YouTube. So do check me out if you get a chance. There's a link below in the description. So I shall see you guys later. Um, oh, that's weird. I can't end the stream, stream on my...